Sandeep Reddy Wanga is back in another look for another movie I guess because he's talking to Balaj Rangan and the title seems like they're talking about the spirit movie which is his next film with Prabhas. So let's see if there's more talks about animal. I've already reacted to their whole discussion about animal you can check it on the channel and uh, yeah let's see. I don't think any controversial. It's been some time that <laughs> interview is out and I didn't see his name trending yet. But yeah, a lot of news I've heard has come out of this interview about Spirit. So let's see what he has to say and uh, let's understand the, you know, what's to expect from Spirit. Let's go. And again, if you haven't seen the original upload, I'll put the link in the description. Check it out on the Galata Plus channel. This video is not a substitute for the original upload. I'll pause. I'll talk in the middle. You know, I'm just reacting to the interview. Let's watch it. Hi Sandeep, welcome to Chennai. Hi, hi. hi. You're In here Chennai. for the Galata Golden Star Award. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, Tell okay. me what are your... Galata Plus does this awards function, everything for that. Okay. Thoughts on awards. I mean, do you value them? Do you do you keep them in a special question. stand and say, okay, I've achieved this much? Or what do awards mean to you? Indian awards, except national award, I would say is still something valuable. But other than that, except for... Fair Film Awards, which we used to do for last three years this year, we couldn't do it. That is the best award in India. It was, uh, right from the growing Self promotion. Age, when we see awards and all, we used to have a very different opinion about awards. But after that, after okay. a while, you hear stories about awards, how, how you get them and what you do to right. get them and all that. <laughs> Keeping I expect him to be so brutal. All that aside, and at one point, you feel like there will be some 10, 15 jury people who will be thinking you are the best director, best actor. But more than that, I feel box office is a big award. Yeah. And uh, there's a... Especially for commercial cinema. Days where I felt like, okay, I'll take it easy. But after a while, I felt it's not only me and it's not only one actor or, you know, it's about so many people who, who worked on Animal. It, it gives a nice feeling to them also, you know, and go and collect awards. So more than me, I feel like, you know, the film is being represented there. Your yeah. film, whether it's Animal or Arjun Reddy or whatever it is. Yeah, I feel for more than me, I feel like it's for the film I'm coming and picking the award. So, yeah. So that's okay. the collective effort, you know? Right. Yeah. After that's okay. That's like you're getting appreciated for your work for everyone. Everyone can say, you know, we got a film fair award for a movie, but I don't know who will say that. <laughs> RRR and Natu Natu brought in India's first okay, th Oscar. Those awards are different. Okay. homegrown okay. awards, right? Okay. It's like the right. first Indian uh, production to bring in. Uh, that is a very different yeah. thing. Oh, would that be something in your oh, dreams? That's, that's an achievement. That's, oh, that's, I, I that's, was talking about Indian awards. Right. That way it's an achievement because, uh, you know, like... Uh, the, the reach is gonna... Now come. now they know more about Raju Mali, sir. I mean, yeah. to talk about the international crowd. So now the release will be like, you know, Oscar award, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> ah, nicely. The... The film from the Oscar, Oscar winning song. Nah, I don't know. I don't know how they'll title the next film, but... Yeah, something like that. But I think we have talked about so many times that what an Oscar recognition brings to Indian cinema as a whole. More eyeballs. What else you need? Yeah, music director or, you know, the maker. And it, it, it goes to a different places also. For, again, it's Telugu cinema is reaching to places where, you know, more than what it has, usually it used to reach. So, so it's more reach now, more, uh, more recognition. So that way, it is superb. I mean, like, you never know even, uh, with... Uh, Mahesh Babu sir's film, you know, what is going to happen. <laughs> Do you see yourself okay. as a, you, like you just said, Telugu cinema director? Me? Interesting. Oh, I, see, that subconsciously, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Telugu film director, but uh, for me, I, I always feel there is no language for uh, the film to reach. So, but uh, coming from... Yeah, because you can say that from his first film also, like even when I saw Arjun Reddy, it was, it never felt like, oh, it's not for me, it's for Telugu audience or... It's like a universal story anyone can watch. And then he just remade it into Hindi because that time, you know, there was no dub available. So that made sense and that film did so well. And then Animal, like, we all know what happened. Telugu land, so I feel I'm a Telugu director. But uh, when you write and work with uh, other language actors also, it makes it feel like you're, you're majorly working on a cinema. Right. On a film. Yeah. So right. it doesn't get any uh, language barrier there in one environment as a set, as a working environment. But when you when you address yourself... He looks so different. <laughs> I think when he was donning that long hair, ponytail and the big beard, like he gave vibe of the film he had made, Animal. And I think now he had shaven himself as he went for, to a, a temple. I think where he saw his clean look. 
I think now he's going into a different space to make the next film. So maybe that's something. Maybe it was just like, a, you know, Mannat, you have to, if the movie will be successful, you'll do this. Your mother tongue is Telugu, so my mother tongue is Telugu, so that way. Yeah. Identify myself as Telugu. Sure. Actor, yeah. no, that way you are, a, yeah. what I meant is, no see, style. when you're making Arjun Reddy, you, it was a Telugu film, yeah. and obviously you're thinking in Telugu, you're writing in Telugu, you're, the culture, the ethos, everything is, is you're creating yeah. a Telugu world, right? Yeah. But when you're doing Animal, you're doing it as a Hindi film. Yes. You're conceiving it as a Telugu film and then translating it into Hindi. It's, it's considered as a Hindi film. Okay. So okay. that way, like I'm thinking like like a Hindi film director would. Because there are some differences. I'll tell you, because for Arjun to Kabir, it's a, almost a true translation. Right. Yeah. So for that, uh, you know, you need to think that now, okay, now this scene worked like this in Mangalore. Now this scene has to work like this in Delhi. So it's a very clear thought, no matter it's a remake. But when it comes to Animal, when I, the, the day one when I narrated and Beer and Beer loved it. So I knew I wanted to attach a Punjabi angle to it. Punjabi background, not an angle, but uh, the, the, the ancestors are from Punjab. So when you, when you have a thick background like that, so I don't think so. I think few scenes in Telugu and translate into You know, it's very interesting. Like, I did get comments, you know, people who, like, it's divided, animal is divided. Uh, people who really enjoyed the film, you know, talking about the portrayal of, you know, sick characters or Punjabi characters, which are always made fun of, you know, usually stereotyped, you know, as comedy relief characters. And he made them look cool and everything. And then there's other side also, like how you're showing them as gangsters and, you know, this is not acceptable. So there's both sides to that. But, you know, him being, him coming from, uh, you know, uh, being a Telugu guy and uh, filmmaker, and then making a film and writing it only set, uh, you know, with the background of Punjab and using that and Arjun Veli song that has its own meaning in it. So that gives you the idea of how strong as a storyteller and filmmaker he is. You like his films are not that separate, but you cannot deny the fact that how he's like, he has a talent to it. So you start thinking about uh, a Punjabi guy who studied in America, comes back to India. But if it is a neutral character, maybe for, for another film, maybe I don't know how that will fluctuate from Telugu to Hindi. But for Animal, uh, it was never how it will be in Telugu. But there will be some places in the screenplay where in the dialogue or you get stuck. Sometimes you feel, what if I write this dialogue in Telugu and then try to translate it and see and, you know. Mm, interesting. It's, it's never a thinking like, okay, I'll go this way. Right. It will change. So. Right. But what I mean is when you know that Animal is also going to get released in Telugu. Yes. Simply because of the market. Yes. Was there in the back of your mind somewhere, some point that was thinking, oh my God, I have so many of these Punjabi characters, Sikh uh, characters in my okay. movie. Will that translate into this milieu? Will, was that thought in your mind? No, that was never there. But okay. there's always a, a different uh, regional uh, people meeting. Mm. When it comes to Geetanjali and Ranvijay. Sure. Yeah. So I thought like, let's make it Telugu then instead of uh, Marathi or Konkani mm, or Tulu. Interesting. So I thought, let's make it Telugu, it will be more appealing for even Tamil people. Yeah. You know? So that was a little, uh, because most of the Brahmin community, Reddy community, I've seen people, a lot of community uh, people, you know, settled down in Delhi. Like now they're a third generation of people. So that okay. way there's a background for Delhi where you see Telugu's also, you see yeah. Tamil's also a lot. So, so specifically also picked, uh, you know, Brahmin or Reddy or whatever community, based on that, you feel very, you feel it's very realistic while you're writing. You right. feel like you know them. Yeah. Mm. Rather than suddenly creating, a, 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 you know, like a Goan Catholic in Delhi, where you will not find them. Right. Compared to, to a, a South, South Indian, like a Tamilian or Telugu. Right. So, yeah. how long did it take for you to write Arjun Reddy? How long did it take for you to write Animal? See, Arjun Reddy, uh, you don't know whether it's going to happen. <laughs> you don't know whether it's going to, somebody's going to put money or... But you, but I was very aware... I think there was famous video of, you know, people stating... Uh, someone stating, I don't remember who, that he sold off his land to make a film, you know, and how much passion he had to make films and how... Where do you find that passion in, you know, Bollywood? So comparing that. That I want this film to be my first film. So after, after you try and meet people when nothing is happening for a long time, you know, the confidence of that you're going to make this film for sure will be fluctuating thought. Right. So in that fluctuation, you tend to take your sweet time in writing. So I think I wrote Arjun Reddy in a very sweet 
you know uh, space yes, like one and a half years mm-hmm. yeah so one and a half years of one and a half years of thought about Arjun Reddy I didn't think about any other story so, so in those one and a half years were you just thinking or were you writing I was writing sometimes I was deleting what I wrote sometimes I okay. don't write because uh, the time period of writing is not like a school. Like yeah, yeah. You know, I just want to add there that budding screenwriters, I think I saw a reel, or not a reel, a po- I think a quote by a screenwriter that, not screenwriter or who was it? It was Nolan, I think. That don't, like, write your first draft. Like, don't start editing and changing within your first draft itself. Just finish your first draft. I think it was Jordan Peele. Just finish your first draft and then go back and write the second half and then do the modification, changes, deletion, addition, all of that. First half, if you start doing it, it will never end. So first, just finish the first draft, the first thing, and then do all the changes in the later drafts. Yeah. You know, you're getting nine months, you go to school, your one grade is done. It is really tough till then you are on the set that you're making your first film. Right. So the process of writing will be, I feel it will be more organic, I feel. Yeah. Because okay. um, sometimes you write a weird scene. So you don't know whether it will be commissioned or not. So I think maybe the ice scene is like that, <laughs> you know, because I thought it's the right scene to, to you know, picturize. So, so that way coming to the point, I took one and a half year in writing and the process was, uh, I was not continuously writing. It was, I, I felt more than writing to be in the mood of the character mm-hmm. continuously. You, you are in the mood of that character and you go watch Avatar or any other film, still your head is in that space mm. only. So I feel being in that uh, head space is more important than typing something. Right. I think that makes you dwell deep into the characterization, I think. That's what happened with Animal, uh, sorry, Arjun Reddy and Anim, uh, Kabir was a remake and Pandemic happened. And even I think Animal also, I took like one, one and a half year. I okay. took a lot of time to write. Because right from... Uh, Right after Arjun Reddy started Kabir, and during the Kabir also, the thought of Animal was there. Right. I never thought about any other story. But in the pandemic, we got breaks. We got so many breaks. So in, in between one of the break, I was offered a film, another film from uh, Pravas Garu. So it didn't materialize. This okay. was before Animal. Before Animal. Uh, uh, yeah. So I said like, there is not spirit of original okay. strikes. I'll come and tell you the idea. Then we'll take This care. idea came from him. From Prabhas. No, no. This, this. I said like we, we, we got a, we got a Hollywood remake. Okay. Oh. We said like okay. uh, he, he asked me we should do if at all you are interested. There's a Hollywood remake. Let's do it. I said like uh, it's, it's not working for me. The Hollywood remake. I think like a original, original thought will be great on you rather than doing a Hollywood remake. Interesting. And then I said, uh, Anna, if at all something great. This is something I actually made a whole video about why. Prabhas, why is failing and unable to do more, bigger films since, you know, uh, Bahubali. Like Salar was big uh, after that. I think a good big film. Other films have not worked really. And I talked about that it's not easy to come up with good directors to back and, you know, write good stories for you. That's what's lacking. And I think he's just creating projects, getting a filmmaker, this producer money, but it just it's not working out. So then, you know, his team or whoever brought a Hollywood script that they can remake for Prabhas to make that pan-India film. And that's interesting that they are going that direction. But hopefully not. As he said, he's not interested. Only original stuff. That's the way to go. Strikes to me and I'll come and narrate. Then I was already in the process of writing Animal. And pandemic, so many breaks happened. Suddenly, something literally striked and I called and I met and told him. Okay. That this is the title, this is what the uh, arena of the story spirit. is, the character. He said, like, that's it, let's do it. This is the sp- this is spirit. 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 Yeah, this just happened for the particular time period I was in that mood. And I, I got back to animal writing. I went to Bombay and finished animal. I came back. Now again, I'm in the writing process of what, you know, I narrated him like two and a half years back. So I, wow. Okay. So... How are you able to retain that essence of what you had at that point? That's uh, interesting. After not just this point of time, yeah. but also after going through that entire animal writing, yes, is yes. that is that still there? Do you have notes or how do you uh, like like? Oh, I have, you have, I a have audio memory. notes. Uh, okay. Uh, me and my brother have one common group. 
Mm-hmm. And nice. me and my wife have one common group, two, two different groups, two different people. So I keep sending ideas on that. Uh, sometimes I type, I email it to myself. So, but I feel the mo- more than all this, what what holds you is the character power. When you think about that guy in spirit, it will. I think that 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 draws me more than a plot. A character will attract me so much. I think like. Uh, Within no time, I can shift into that. That's what I feel. Okay. But I feel that's Again, true. Character. In, film, right? in, in both your films, or rather, okay, three films or two films. I don't know how you call it, but uh, <laughs> it's the character that drives the plot. Yes, it's yes. not the plot that drives the character. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's like there's a very you've been very consistent with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this also I'm assuming you're going to yeah. because all we know is Prabhas, 25th film, he's playing <laughs> an honest police officer. Yes, yes. Is what has come out. Yes, yes. So I yeah. think that's that's what we know about the film. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, I'm just, this is the character that's hopefully going to yeah you know drive. Even I know that much only. <laughs> well. Interesting answer. Like we are trying to get something out of him. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, because I didn't finish yet, so I'll finish it soon. So writing. How 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 far ahead are you? I am sixty percent through. Yeah. Okay. Are you writing this for towards a deadline? This I, actually deadline in the sense I have to start the film. Uh, when? Uh, December I have to start. You have to start December yeah. 2020. November December I have to start. Okay. Start shooting. So which means for the first time in your life. Yeah. Arjun, you had lots of time because that was your first film. Yes. Animal yeah. pandemic happened. You had a lot of time. Yeah. So this is the first time. Yeah. You are actually writing towards a very strict deadline. Yeah. I'll because I'll be because... faster because. The, the the thought came almost two and a half, three years back. So I think that has happened. Some marination level has happened. So let's see. Yeah, but compared to both, this will be a faster process. Yeah, because if you're going to start in December, yeah. you have to do some pre-production, all, yes, allow some yes. time to that. So yes. like, so you'll have to finish the script in fairly soon. Yes, yes. So yeah. uh, I want to know when you wrote Arjun Reddy, you knew that you did not know who was going to be in it. Yes. That was a yeah. new thing, right? It's yes, like a yes. thing. How does writing a script, not knowing who an actor is, versus how is that different actor. from writing a script, knowing that I'm writing this for Prabhas, I'm writing this for Ranveer? How does how does that differ? I think when you don't know, uh, it process different, and when you know somewhere very very involuntarily, the writing, you know, uh, goes into the grip of the actor. Because mm. you've seen the work. Like, like writing the writing the character thinking, can I get this out of the actor? This actor has this potential. Uh, you know, I can use this and from this actor. So I'm using that to write the character. Interesting. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> like I'm a writing animal. I know Ranbir is one person. Ranbir is good in that, good in this, the range, you know, the innocence he has on his face, but the brutality he can even show. So that will help the character I'm writing instead of just writing a character and then see who the actor fits in. Interesting. Okay. So you know what is what they can do best. So I feel few few episodes, you know, you root it for them. Like it's like a few scenes you write for the gallery, like few things you write for the actor. Mm-hmm. Like give me it like an uh, example of an animal scene that, that you wrote for Anbir. You know that explanation scene of Alpha Beta? Oh. Mm, okay. The kind of gaze he was giving and talking, and the way he was explaining. Because usually he's such a great actor. So no matter it's a lengthy scene, you know, he'll take pauses and he'll talk. Yet it'll be it will be interesting. So that mm, courage okay. came from his acting capabilities. So okay. usually if it is if it is two paragraphs, I went to four paragraphs because of knowing that it's Ranbir. So it's oh, okay. You know, and uh, fascinating. Few things when you focus on the eyes, if you if if you want to do it for thirty seconds, you do it for one minute on Ranbir. So it depends. Few few people, it's different because I didn't know he was great in action. Or else I would have done that also more because <laughs> more. <laughs> you have a half an hour. No more. This is not in the length. Right. I mean to say the yeah yeah the brutal brutality. Brutality. So, yes, yeah. yeah. So what is it about Prabhas? I think that's why he's doing Animal Park now. <laughs> What are the things about him that grab you? Like, uh, like, Prabhas, like when you see Prabhas on screen, what what is it that draws your attention? What are the qualities in him as an actor? I think I feel strongly. Uh, if something goes wrong, the fear of reaction. How is he going to react on this? 
I can hold that for a while. If something goes wrong to the character that Prabhas is playing. Yeah, playing or some somebody who's close to him, something goes wrong to his okay. duty or or This reminds me of the scene in Bahubali 2 where they bring Devasena in the chain and he comes and he just walking and dude Bahubali just nailed it. I think he just needs good good storytellers and people who can use him well. You know, I think a lot of complaint for Salar was that he's there's not much dialogue to him. He's mostly just looking, standing, you know. I think Salar the second part I hope there's more for him to do. There's very less, you know, it's more standing, staring. And there's some beautiful shots with those. He can do he can pull that off really well. But more in the performance. His job or something something hurts him and how is he going to react? That I think I can I can play for a long time because because audience want only that. Right. In particular okay. scene they want him to see it react. So the waiting point for the reactions can be played to the gallery very well. You know. Okay, that's so very interesting, you know, way of breaking down a film and writing a film and and that's very this is very true to Indian cinema. This is true to mass commercial cinema. You know, this is very you know there's no book you know written by some western guy about how to do like this is totally ours the totally our thing is that coming from something his previous does, work something that he does like because of his eyes or something yeah, like yeah yeah his eyes his persona you know um, he has his i i feel the, asking about a scene from his previous hopefully i've seen that film <laughs> he has a very unique way of turning around and what looking at people so Okay. Is, you know, commercial cinema he, uh, heroes, uh, you know, uh, moments, great moments you have in every uh, right, star. Right, right. So that will be uh, somewhere. I'll not use it in a very uh, regular way, but I feel uh, the kind of character I wrote, the kind of fan following he has, the kind of persona he has. I think I feel that will be a great match. See, for example, uh, Arjun Reddy. animal of both commercial mainstream films that play with masala storytelling right but they both i won't call them mass movies exactly because mm. they are masala mm. in a different form yeah but with with a star as mega as pravas as sandeep reddy wanga going to enter the mass zone for the first time like are you going to have those slow those motion and everything fights and you know like i don't know i, I never thought about those flying fights actually okay but uh, let's Please see don't. Even, uh, even i want to explore and see right but you're not averse to that zone no but i i see the flying things and sometimes you know when you see the feet you see that dust i'll not i'll not do that okay <laughs> there are a few things i don't want to do <laughs> and but, other things i'll see how it works yeah right but will you do that other thing where uh you know the hero first you see the hand and then you see the feet and then you see the uh, the first time you see the hero and then you see him part by part and then finally you see the face that Reveal. that's the real is something that will you play with that it's kind of a i don't know that is boring i think now i think it's the the idea is used hmm. or, or so many times million times right. i don't think right. so i can do that this is this is this is what you know when you're watching his films you will kind of get something new and never seen like something like in disliking again i said you know it's a it's a other thing at the objective level you know you know you're going to get something new fresh that's exciting tell me how do you see obviously we have all grown up with movies indian movies so we have yeah. a, some kind of pulse on the audience because even as a critic sometimes when i see a movie i know this movie is not going to do well or you yeah, know sometimes yeah. yeah you know that that some instinct is there in you right yeah. so when you use a star how much percentage of obviously not a, like a regular per, or like an approximate thing how much percentage of the star can you really play with because a lot of people are coming to see prabhas in an action movie that means you have to give them that prabhas doing action stuff but then you are also a very different kind of director who thinks in a very and i mean this in a good way eccentric <laughs> manner so how much of eccentricity of or your brand of screen writing especially can you infuse into a mega star like Pravas, is that that's an interesting question for me? Like because I think I think that's the whole idea for uh, Pravas Garu to accept the story because okay. yeah because he felt this mm. is so different character. Like he's making it on the day. If people want 
just want to see prabhas anyone can make a film with prabhas just watch it but if he is making it he's going to make it the way he wants the way he tells a story and that's what i think yes he says prabhas is also attracted to the narrative because something new and different if he wants to do the same thing then anyone can do it like you don't need him vision and this different uh, you know journey i feel i should just go with whatever you are visualizing this what that i think that's what actually brought him into the story i think let's see let's see because yeah. uh, because if I, i i think if i say anna you will turn around and people are running away i think they will hate me you'll say because i i i am sure uh, we both are not uh, seeing that right so mm. what you said i think we're going to reach there uh, hopefully yeah now how do you deal with the two sets of expectations uh, sandeep one is it is pravas's 25th film and these numbers these special numbers always you know people look forward to that a little more than they expect that to be a little special plus now you've had three blockbusters in a row so there's going to be an expectation yep. on this pressure. from your side as well how much of this pressure are you carrying like the next film has to now 800 um, animal did now next has to 1000 plus inside your head while you're writing spirit frankly i'm not thinking about that genuinely i'm not thinking because i never thought about that for animal also because i'm i'm actually worried about uh what i am writing how it is going to be executed and the way i am visualizing whether i'm going to achieve it on screen that mm. is i think the most painful process is what you write and what you achieve rest of it exactly will fall in place if the material is correct right this pressure and all if you take pressure you'll do the same thing what you did in the previous film i yep. think it was to yep meet to the whatever and it will not work again so the best way to deal with pressure is to not think about the pressure yeah because uh, i i think that's very uh, you know made up thing to think about the pressure because the pressure is you know that the, there's a lot of money riding on this film now because it's a heavy budget film than compared to animal and kabir and arjun so oh, heavier than that, that is there that you know producer going to put 300 plus so there is going to record that oh, money that's one thing i always it. look into your producer should make money then you can make another film and second thing is like the same thing like you know now uh, i'm visualizing in one particular way all the while 24 films he, people have seen him in him in a very different roles so if this match is going to work then the rest will all work hmm. you know if if the if the actor is getting uh, the character right and i am feeling it is going right then that's it done right yeah rest is like uh, we'll see like how much percentage of people will love or hate you know right uh, now is 300 plus crores for a movie uh, with a big star and a big director is that a viable budget today when telugu cinema oh it depends it depends on the star i think for uh, prabhas garu it's a it's a valid budget it's a valid budget yeah what what is in general in 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 let's say telugu cinema what is a reasonable safe budget would you say no we can't say because like for a for a for a mid level movie it depends on the actor depends on the director who is catering and sometimes of course, you, dip, you, yeah. depends on the story scenario all yeah. that kind of stuff but i'm saying what would be a given the audiences the numbers of audiences that go to theaters today If I make a movie in this course, I'm I, there's a good chance that I'm going to be safe. What is that number? If it is newcomers, everybody are new. If it is everybody are new and uh, you you know there's a material to grab audience with the teaser, teaser and trailer, and I think four CR is safe. Okay. Four. Because CR. you have uh, satellite digital. Three hundred. Because because I'm I met Arjun Reddy in two forty I think two thirty eight two forty. Oh. 2 crore 40 lakhs or 2 crore 38 lakhs somewhere wow. right so this actually you know pelichable was made in 65 lakhs yeah so so that way nobody can say how much is a safer budget right yeah no but, the question the reason i ask this question is yeah. because in all languages we are mm. hearing about these mega budgets right like kalki is coming out with a mega budget mm. your spirit is coming out in a mega budget Indian to game changer these are all mega budget films uh if hindi you're hearing about you know a possible ramayan or something like that that's going to be a mega budget film so the budgets are clearly people are willing to put in uh money on big projects today is it because they think that these are the kinds of movies that will draw people to theaters more yeah. likely than 
let's say a, a smaller kind of scale movie yeah they must be definitely they must be thinking that 100% yeah or else why would no, they put no i'm, I'm saying or, or are they thinking if i split it off ott is going to give me the smart so this that is, is it that calculation is always there and whatever films you mention actually spirit is a reasonable budget <laughs> compared to all the films you have mentioned yeah that is definitely the satellite digital music and uh, after that theatrical right and for telugu and even tamil especially indian films overseas market is like another territory now yeah bigger mm-hmm. territory especially us separate territory so that way that calculation is always there that calculation is see, that's i mean that's a right mix of economic we're getting into the technical details now and uh, you know uh, creativity art so uh, again coming back to your writing just like you said you don't think about the pressure yeah. don't you think about the economics as well yeah because uh, i'll tell you if you, the kind you of think or don't think i think i think because okay. the kind of budget what you're putting we i feel you're safe i feel the producer is safe because uh, uh oh, prabhas and a combination my combination i think it is satellite digital everything you know like we're going to recover our budgets there itself i think right. almost pretty okay. much if everything goes well with the teaser trailer songs whatever in the pre release to and whatever we do to grab the audience and post and everything goes well opening day would be 150 cr that's <laughs> that, that's, that's a lot that's of a, confidence that's a, that's a, i think he's not confident he's just honest that's that's i think anyone today who understands business film business or even general public today even i for me i would say like him saying that oh how can you say that he's so arrogant at this he actually makes sense considering prabhas even a bad film also does that even adipurush had a big starting money you know if people knew the teaser and trailer how bad they were so that is i think he, and with him and prabhas coming together and knowing his as a filmmaker we're going to get something unique different you like it or not separate thing again that, that it when he says on the world by whatever he's i think not wrong he's kind of estimating trade calculation because uh, that, that, that's how the trade they calculate right so and is this going to be like a pan indian thing yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so you saying pan india 150 yeah easily it should be it should be yeah it should be worldwide or pan india i don't know the calculation but 150 cr on one day for a film is like if if the material is good then done deal like, like right, it will right. yeah are you writing spirit with a clear head has all the angst uh-huh. that you have interesting animal. interesting <laughs> has it all gone away has that evaporated after your tirupati visit and no, all that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no i don't know why you feel that but uh, no uh, because i saw a whole bunch of interviews that you gave where you were kind of uh, that's what i'm saying uh, sir you know like what i'm saying is like you you're throwing bonsers i'm trying to play defense <laughs> what my, my my point is you're throwing a ball you don't want to play defense because there are more to die if i don't play but you know? i'm not throwing bounces no i'm just saying yeah. not, not about you yeah. you're saying that my angst you see in a particular different interviews because i feel you know it's it's i told in one of the interview you should be glad that i'm not throwing the ball i'm just playing a defense so oh so maybe, interesting maybe provoke you yeah that's what see whoever i reply till now they always provoked or they said something i never provoked or, uh, like i never said anything about you I never said anything about so many other people also because uh, I I'm not saying that I get provoked also but I felt for few people you know to give it <laughs> come on <laughs> like that was a, like real and uh, you know memes people are sharing that how uh, I don't say anything but he says something then I don't I don't take a criticism then he takes criticism like see it's his choice his you know opinion whatever he wants to say something back to people who criticize his work he can he has all the right you know but typically you would expect that your film is doing so well at the box office everyone is enjoying it there's so much you know good buzz also of course negativity but so much people are appreciating your work and you're making money producer everyone is happy that let them say anything let them talk anything they want like why are you getting into that you know cycle of vicious cycle because i don't know man. i mean like no nobody see everybody are trying to throw a stone and everybody are trying to keep quiet i feel it's weakness at at one point how many how many days will keep quiet right for few people at least you have to answer back not for everybody but few few people like you know 
Is, uh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. whom we're talking about. Let's not take <laughs> names again. Again, that will be the meme again after that. Right. Now, just like you had spirit, like the essence of spirit in uh, while you were... Like that we have brought it back to the main topic, not controversial stuff. Being animal, do you have the essence of animal park while you're writing spirit? Are you kind of thinking about that as well? I don't know. Maybe oh, sometimes I think park. sometimes because... Uh, uh, I watched Animal like recently again with my cousins, so I got a different idea by the time I reached Climax, <laughs> which I never had. So like that, maybe, uh, you know, I had a particular idea for part two, but it is not very deep like how Animal is, because it will take time for me to write. So for any part two to be worked, part one should work, so. Right now, you're you're 100% thinking about spirit only? Yes, 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 yeah, 100%, okay. yeah. Okay, okay. I can't think anything else, yeah. Right, how many hours a day do you write? One hour. One and a half hour. That's it. That's it, yeah. Okay, that's what, the right I was expecting part, something. That's thinking part. That's, yeah, that's some, sometimes, you know... You, thinking never stops. Suddenly you get a thought and you write for half an hour, one hour, and you take a print out or, like, you save it, and that's it. And I and, don't think so we can sit and write continuously, yeah. No, there are people, like, who say... Yeah, there are professional writers, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There are professional writers. You come and give them an idea, they'll write up for your idea. I'm not like that. I write for my, my myself, for my film. I can't write for somebody. So I'm not a professional writer for somebody else. So you tell me a line, I'll give you a screenplay. I, I can't do that. But, but that can is you a real the reverse? Can, supposing you give a line, can you give the screenplay to somebody else? That's what I'm saying, mm, yeah. Interesting. So yeah, somebody gives me a line, I can give the screenplay to them. I never tried. No, no, no. I'm saying, what about, what if you have a line and yeah. you employ an external screenplay writer yeah. for your movie? Yeah, I, I never tried. I should try, actually. I should. You're open to that? I'm open to that. If somebody gives me a script and you narrate me and I read it and it's ready, if I go to the shooting in three months, that's the happiest thing. <laughs> I mean, like, at least I can uh, come out with every 14 months, I can come with one film. Right. Now it takes almost, uh, you know, two years. Two years, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can save a lot of time if something... Happens like that. So, but, uh, people listening, he wants <laughs> he wants you. I don't know with that kind of a clear detail anybody is writing. Because plain writing as a writer will be different. To interpret and all, again, it will take time. And I don't know how the sensibilities will be. Sometimes, because I never read anybody's script actually. I, it's hard for me to comment also. But when I hear, because I want to produce films, so I heard a couple of stories. I didn't like it. So then, uh, then I was thinking, like imagine if the same story is coming for me to direct. Then I was thinking, oh. No way it's happening. So maybe a day will come where I'll depend on writers, but as of now, I want to write. Yeah. So what is it that that strikes you when, when you say, okay, this looks like something that I, uh, that I would direct? The idea has to be so great that whatever I'm thinking and marinating should throw in a bin. <laughs> you know, this is all wasted. You, know, you, should, you should really feel that uh, mm. this is a greater idea. Inspired, okay, yeah. I think, that, I think that, that's the only thing, yeah. Right. Yeah. If the idea is good and... The characterization is something that you can build on. Then that's that's something that 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 will. It depends, sir. It depends because I uh, I never heard any story for my uh, making. Yeah. I heard stories to just produce a few films, but it didn't happen as of now. Right. Okay. So, but uh, I, I never heard that. You tell me a story. He's never been in that it's like uncharted territory for him. I want to direct. Okay, I'll yeah. give you the example of two Telugu films. Yeah. Both of them were hits. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and both of them are kind of slightly twisted love stories. Okay. Upena. Okay. And Baby. Okay. Would either of, with this zone, if somebody gave you a, a script, would you be open to... Uh... More than Baby, I would have uh, uh, gone for Upena. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. W what is it that drew you to that movie? That's a very, very, very unique story. If somebody offered me Mahanati, I would have directed it. Yeah. Oh. yeah, Mahanati. Yes, yes. Okay, I can't see you directing Mahanati for <laughs> yeah. some reason. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I want to do a biopic sometime. That's a great movie, by the way, if you haven't seen. But no, as of now, I'm filled with what I'm doing, but... Uh, okay. But... Wait, who's doing a biopic? Arun Madheshwaran is doing a biopic, right? Of Ilya Raja. So that's interesting combo. So him doing a biopic is also interesting. Who is a non-violent? Like him making a movie on Gandhi. You, when I was watching Mahanati, I felt that. That? Uh, I felt that. Because uh, of Savitri uh, Garu's... Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, her obviously. Yeah. Yeah, her life, you know, her melancholy life, you know. I, I thought, like, I would have painted differently. Right. I'm not saying Mahanati is... Uh, you really like I, sadness. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mahanati, but I thought, like, 
मुझे आना चाहिए था अपॉर्चुनिटी You never know what is the right side and the wrong right, side. Yeah. Something right. got proved. We really don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Not following. But I think right. yeah, it was that bizarre thing. I think becomes a little difficult to mm. kind of get into that. So anyway, finally, Sandeep, uh, you've got to go to the awards now. So I'll if I want to become a screenwriter, anybody wants to become a screenwriter, mainstream screenwriter. Okay. What are some of the books you'd like me to read, or what are some of the movies that you'd like me to watch for their screenplay? See, the first uh, day of the film school. Oh, I was taught that whether you want to follow f- screenplay book or you don't follow, you don't want to follow. I'm a very lazy guy. I can't read. I f- <laughs> fell off to sleep. So I thought I'll not uh, read because all books are written based on the films only. Yeah, that's true. So no formula is created, and after that, film is created. So I believe watching films is a great idea than reading. That's what I did. Okay. I don't know how okay. it can work for other people, but there's so many great films to watch, rewatch, understand. Like watch like, in mute sometimes. What what are some of the things that you watch? Ah, uh, so many films. I mean, yeah. One Flew Over Cuckoo's Nest, Who Is Afraid of Virginia Woolf, The Rare Window. I recently, I, I revisited that film. And Godfather, Goodfellas. Good, and, what uh, I've seen, okay. Fight Club, recent films. Yes, I've so seen. So many films. Like it, you asked me in the last time interview also, but if I want, I can list out some fifty to seventy films which yeah. I like. Yeah. Time pe yaad nahi aa raha. Tell me the yeah. Indian ones. Indian ones, uh, Maya Bazaar. Uh, Not available to watch any show. Hmm. Uh, Naya Kudu, I mean Naya Gan. Yeah. And Swain Kurushi. Uh, recently, uh, uh, there are so many like Bahubali and uh, I loved Manam. You, know, you, you saw Manam. Somehow that film didn't quite work for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I loved it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I really loved it because <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> I like how we are. Uh, I didn't like it. <laughs> you put that idea on the paper. No, I love the idea of the three generations. Yeah, no, didn't, didn't. Of... If you put the idea on the paper and show it to your producer, it's like what nonsense. But when it, when you see, you're like, what is happening? I was, I saw it like three times. No, maybe there is also a cultural connect. Yeah, cultural connect. Yeah, uh, could be the reason. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because I have, yeah. you know, maybe. You know, because yeah. for Telugu, it's a yeah. like a greater thing. I don't know, but but yeah. generally, that that movie didn't. Uh, but tell me, like when you when you're looking at a wholesome movie like Manam or uh, Maya Bazaar, what is it about the screenplay that appeals to you? Because from what I see, the other movies I can understand because you're interested in pushing characters, uh, you know, those kinds of things, right? It's because you like like playing, doing something different. But those are fairly. Like clean, nice, sweet characters. Yeah. Like how? How? No, I love. That's what I'm saying. See, I have, I have, uh, you know, time pe yaad nahi aa raha, but I loved a lot of other films also. Uh, you know, the, I don't, I don't. This I, is I can totally relate. I can totally relate to this. Like, if you just ask me your favorite films, and I'm like, oh shit, I have, I have never seen a film in my life. Suddenly, brain goes blank. And recollect, right. and then when you're in your sleep or you're showering, you're like that movie, that movie, that movie. <laughs> But you're you're saying that I watch them like an audience and I like them. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I was I was zapped when I was watching Manam. What an idea! Because in the poster, if you see, uh, A N R Garu was uh, uh, sitting down. He was like a grandson. Uh, 
Nagarjuna, Nagarjuna sir was a, like a father and Chaitanya was a grandfather. I felt like what a smart poster. Right. He told the story in the poster, but nobody, they thought like maybe some, you know, maybe visually it is looking good, maybe they clicked it. But when you see the story and think about the poster, I was like, fantastic. <laughs> it was uh, superb for me. Right. And finally, any Tamil films that have grabbed your attention? So many Tamil films. Like I mean, recent, recent ones. Vala Chennai I loved. Karna I loved. Okay. Vinay Thandi it's a long time, 10 years, more than 10 years, right? And uh, all Gautam Minan films, I love Gautam Minan films. Okay. You name few, what, what... Uh, no, I'm just I, like... I saw Vikram. Ah. I loved Vikram. Ah. And uh, I'm waiting for... Uh, yesterday I saw the teaser. Rajni sir's teaser uh, with uh, Lokesh is doing it. That one I want to watch. With Tien. So, yeah. Right, so... There are a lot of Tamil influence. I mean to say Tamil films because I'm, because I'm feeling bad that I'm not able to, uh, you know, spell out or list out all the films because we we used to watch a lot of Tamil dubbing films. For yeah. example, Idayam, Hrudayam. It was a 100-day film in Varangal. Mm. I was in fourth standard, I think. The Murali and Hira. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But I can und- I can see why that will work in Telugu. Yeah. That Those are the... Those work in... That okay. southern milieu, they work very well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like that, Captain Provoker, City Police, Commando. So all the dubbing films which used to release, I used to watch. So... Right. And uh, this one, uh, Ajit Sir's film, Ullasam. Ah. You know, and the Premaleka. You know that love story, they write letters. They meet in the railway station finally. Oh, yeah. Kadal Kote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's called Premaleka in Telugu. Okay. It's also... <laughs> that's Ajit and Deviani, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's a yeah. 100-day film. So, like that, I saw a lot of films. I was a movie buff, actually. I was yeah. watching every film. Which is what is showing right now. So, anyway, yeah. thank you so much, Sandeep. And, yes. uh, At the end, they were just geeking out. <laughs> He mentioning the names, like he's you know the dubbed version names. <laughs> and we are like, oh, that film. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, as he said, right, the last question about understanding cinema, writing cinema. I think so many people make it so complicated and, you know, reading books and principles and three act structures. Like it's good to help you. It can, ha- you know, always help you think, but you should not stuck within those things. And, you know, watching movies, watching different kind of films and, you know, understanding breaking them down. I've seen, you no, know, the films I've seen many times, you know, I, it's easy for me to break down and understand what happened. Like three idiots I've lost so many times. And like, like that movie is written, you know, every scene has a, a arc. Every scene is important. You cannot just take out a scene and like, you know, without that scene, movie is not, it's not going to work. Every moment, so one thing is said here that comes back later in the story and how it connects, you know, uh, say a triple R, say a Bahubali. Like I've seen them so many times, I can understand the structure of the filmmaking. Uh, and that helps when you are writing something similar or even not similar. You know how you frame your world, what comes, character comes first, the world comes first. All of those things. I think watching films, cinema, you know, exploring, talking, I think is going to help a lot. But yeah, coming to this interview, uh, I think good interview. Uh, not much about spirit given away, but uh, you know, him explaining how to write for not knowing an actor and how to write when you know there's an actor. You know, when he's a star and you're writing a you know big commercial film, how do you utilize that actor within your character? Like that's such as I said, you know, it's such an Indian thing, Indian filming uh, filmmaking scene, part of our culture and DNA. It's you know, it's not tainted. Not not that that's not the right word, tainted. It's not like something is taken from abroad and you know and you using it in our way it's like we have created this genre this way of telling a story and uh, we we have our own you know rule not rules principles and understanding of how you conceive something like that so that was pretty interesting to note and again a controversial filmmaker but uh, pretty you know big blockbuster films he has delivered and that's what you expect from spirit also and i like the idea that he's so clear-minded that you know it's not about the pressure of i have to make more money next film and all that he's focus is on the thing he's writing the character is developing his focus is on the creative side not the business side that oh i have delivered a 800 crore now 1000 crore film i have to think like no i have to think about the character you know that story that's what you know he's you can see that he's aligned to that not the business side of it that's great but that's he just want that to happen so he can make more films so that's clear from you know the way he talks and interacts but yeah what do you think let me know in the comments below and you can check out this video and i will see you next time